All right, so let's take a look at some word problems uh, dealing with the amount of work. So here it says mom can vacuum the house in 40 minutes. It takes her daughter 60 minutes to vacuum the house. How long would it take them if they work together? All right, so before we get into the problem, let's just let's let's come down here and just talk about this for a minute. So let's suppose that we have a yard that we're mowing. And let's say that it takes person A uh, three hours to mow the yard. Okay. So what would be his rate? Well, if it takes him three hours to mow the yard, then that means he's doing one-third of the yard per hour. That would be the rate that he's working. He's doing one-third per hour. Okay. If it took him four hours to mow the yard, then that means he's doing one-fourth of the job per hour. So he would be doing one-fourth of the yard per hour. That would be his rate. Okay. All right. So with that in mind, let's come back up here to our problem. And let's draw a table. So we've got mom. And we've got the daughter. Okay. We've got the rate, the time, and the amount of work. Okay. All right. And we know that the amount of work is equal to rate times time. All right, so it says mom can vacuum the house in 40 minutes. So what would be her rate? Well, it would be 1 over 40. And it takes her daughter 60 minutes to vacuum the house. So her daughter's rate would be 1 60th. She would be doing 1 60th of the house per minute. Okay. Now, the time. So how long are they going to work? Well, that's what we're looking for. It says how long would it take them if they work together? So their times, since they're both working together, okay, well, they're both vacuuming the house, and they're both going to vacuum until they finish. So their times, the amount of time that they're vacuuming would be the same. And so the amount of work would be rate times time. So 1 over 40 times x would be x over 40 and 1, one over 60 times x would be x over 60. Alright, now let me, let me erase this real quick so we can write our equation down. I'm going to go ahead and write the equation down and then I'm going to explain to you how I got it. So if I have the amount of work x over 40 plus the amount of work the daughter did x over 60, that's going to equal 1. Okay. So let's let's look and see how I got that. All right. So let's go back to mowing a yard. Okay. So let's say we have person A and we have person B. Person A starts here and mows the yard. Person B starts here and mows the yard. So let's say that they meet up right here. Person A mows all of this. Person B mows this. Okay. So we would say here that maybe person A mowed 70% of the yard. And so that would mean person B mowed 30% of the yard. Okay. Or if we put it in decimals, they would mow 
70% in decimal is 0 0.7, 30% in decimal is 0 0.3. So person A mowed 70% of the yard, and I wrote the 70% in decimal, plus the 30% that person B mowed, and that's going to equal 100%, or just 1. Okay, so see, you can see we have 70% plus the 30% equals a hundred percent of the yard and all I did is instead of writing it as seventy percent plus thirty percent plus a hundred percent I wrote all the percentages in decimals and that's exactly what we did to get our equation here okay so mom did this percentage of the house the daughter did this percentage of the house so the percentage of the house that the mom vacuumed plus the percentage of the house the daughter vacuumed is equal to 100% of the house being vacuumed. All right, so hopefully that was clear. And the, I hope the example that I showed you down here that I'm erasing, I hope it helped. All right, now, all we do now is we just solve this equation here. So what I'm going to do is get a common denominator of between 40 and 60. So my common denominator would be 120. So I'm going to multiply each term by the common denominator of 120. All right. So now I have 120 divided by 40. That's going to give me, that's going to cancel, and I'm going to be left with a 3. And here, this is going to cancel, and I'll be left with a 2. And so that's going to be 3x plus 2x equals 120. All right. And so, combine like terms, I get 5x equals 120. And then, I divide both sides by 5. And so, I get x equals 24. And that would be minutes, because the times are in minutes. So, that would be 24 minutes and this would be my answer all right let's look at another one all right it says Bill and Ted can mow their yard together with two lawn mowers in 30 minutes when Bill works alone it takes him 50 minutes how long would it take Ted to mow the lawn by himself. All right, so let's draw a table. We have Bill. Let me, let me bring that down a little bit. We've got Bill. We've got Ted. And we've got the rate. We've got the time. And we have the amount of work. Okay, and remember, amount of work is equal to rate times time. All right, so it says Bill and Ted can mow their yard together with two lawn mowers in 30 minutes. When Bill works alone, it takes him 50 minutes. So it takes Bill 50 minutes. So his rate would be what? 1 over 50. And they want to know how long would it take Ted to mow the lawn by himself. So we're looking to see how long it would take Ted to mow the yard. So Ted's time mowing the yard alone would be X. And so that means his rate would be 1 over X. <clears throat> now, if they're working together, they're going to mow for a total of 30 minutes. 
So the time that they're mowing is 30 minutes. Okay. And so the amount of work is rate times time. So that would be 30 over 50, which in this case, that would equal what? 3 over 5 if we reduce the fraction. And then 1 over x times 30 would be 30 over x. All right. So just like in the last problem that we did, <clears throat> we've got the percentage of the yard that Bill mowed, which is 3 over 5, plus the percentage of the yard that Ted mowed, which is 30 over x, is equal to 100%, or just 1. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got to solve this. So I'm going to get a common denominator. And in this case, my common denominator would be 5x. So I'm going to multiply each term by 5x. All right, so you can see here the fives cancel, and here the x's cancel. And so I'm left with 3x plus, and then that's going to be 150 equals 5x. And so now I need to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 3x to both sides. And so I get 150 equals 2x. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. And so that's going to give me x is equal to 75 and our problem is in minutes. So it would it would take Ted 75 minutes to mow the yard. Okay. This is time it takes Ted to mow the yard alone. Alright, let's take a look at one more. Alright, it takes 10 minutes to fill a bathtub and 12 minutes to drain the water out. How long would it take to fill it to fill it with the drain accidentally left open? Okay. All right. So here we have we're going to fill the bathtub and drain. All right. So we've got rate, time, and amount of work. All right. So to fill it it takes 10 minutes. So the rate is 1 over 10 and it takes 12 minutes to drain the water out. So that would be 1 12th. That would be the rate. All right. So the total time, well, that's going to be the same because they're both going to be working until it's the bathtub's completely done. That's going to take X minutes. And so the rate would be 1 tenth times x, or x over 10. And then 1 twelfth times x is x over 12. All right. Now, we have to set up our equation. So the amount of work to fill the bathtub, that's going to be x over 10. And the amount of work to drain it, would be x over 12. Now, if you notice here, these these are working against each other. One's filling the bathtub and one's draining the bathtub. So we subtract the two. Okay? Because now if they were both filling the bathtub, then it would be plus. Or if they were or if it was we had two pumps that were draining the bathtub that would be plus. But since one's filling and one's draining, 
we have the minus and that equals 1 hundred percent of the job being done alright so now we have to get a common denominator of 10 and 12 well that's going to be what 60 so we're going to multiply the common denominator times each term and so let's see what we have that's going to cancel I'm left with 6 this is going to cancel and I'm left with 5 so I got 6x minus 5x equals 60 combine like terms so I get x equals 60 minutes and this would be our answer. All right, so I hope this video helped. I uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. Okay, thanks.